going to do a quick unboxing of uh, a new pump for my aquaponics system. Got a couple of systems here. Um, one of them, 4,000 litre tank with a couple of thousand litre grow beds in greenhouses. You can't quite see it through there, but behind the big tank. Uh, it's running pump similar, like same company, Chabayo, Chabayo, however you say that. Um, at the moment, it's running a 3,500 litre uh, an hour pump, which is a little bit underpowered for what I want. Um, basically, trout. Uh, in, in the tank I want a bit more water flow and uh, to be able to control it a little bit more. Um, the tanks that I use at the moment run off a lot of solar. You can probably see inverters and solar controllers and pumps and all sorts of stuff in that little box there. That's just some of the solar gear. Uh, I wanted a DC pump for that reason that AC you can't really, like the pumps I've got here, uh, they need too much of a kick to start them. Uh, once they were running they'd be okay on the solar but uh, so yeah, so a DC pump is the go uh, for solar. Uh, I'll do another review on it actually working on the solar. Um, I'll probably put it on a 120 watt panel to start, single 80 amp battery just to see how it runs. Uh, and then maybe, you know, beef it up a little bit because I'm sure it'll need a bit more than that. So DC pump, you've got your AC and DC. DC, um, you know, AC, DC. AC is what comes out of your power point, that kind of thing, 240 volt. Uh, DC is more like what solar runs on, that kind of thing. So. This pump is actually um, 24 volt, from what I understand. They reckon it's energy efficient, 65%, blah, 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 blah. Um, and as I said, this is a 9,000 litre an hour pump. But it has a control that comes with it, and you can turn it down to about 60% uh, of flow. So, you know, you'd be looking at, you know, like, just a, call it 4,500, that kind of thing, for argument's sake, you could turn it down to. So, um, that's my main interest in this pump, is that I want a little bit more control um, over what the system is doing. Uh, there's also another reason I want it. it you, I'll be able to attach a uh, larger pipework to it. You can see the controller on the box, press for feeding, 10 minutes off, and then the flow rates, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, so let's get into it and have a quick look. I'll do the one-handed opening, not sure that works out. There we go. Alright, so a couple of adapters, all one piece, so you could just cut them down to whatever size pipe if you're using like a flexible pipe, which I'm not. So a couple of adapters, the uh, control, and DC power obviously. That's the pump. Now we've got a few of the screws, washer, that would go over the top of these, so you choose the whatever size. You want kind of thing, be able to screw it onto the motor. Right, so there go there. Got a one handed job. Right, so there's the pump. Now, what I really liked about this is that all the other pumps I've got, the inlet and outlet are only 32 mil. This one's got 38 mil. It doesn't sound like much more, but it just allows that much more water uh, for higher head height, so I'll be able to get a max head height. Uh, the head height on this one is 4.2 meters. So that's pretty good, I'm only going up 2 metres, so I should get a pretty decent flow. So yeah, I really like having a 38mm outlet for it. Now back in the box we've got our tiny little piece of instruction there. Probably not going to bother reading that, it'll all be in Chinese almost. It'll make no sense to me. And because this is a DC, it's much like a laptop or whatever, you've got a transformer. This transformer probably also is a bit of a filter, clean the energy. Now being a new pump, I don't mind blowing one up just to try it, but what I actually want to do is get rid of the the actual transformer, AC to DC transformer. So 2.5 amp, it's 24 volt, 5 amp. So in theory, I should be able to get rid of this and hook the pump directly into the solar gear. Because with solar, this is only just going to waste more power, this is just going to create more inefficiency. Uh, being the pump's 24 volt, uh, all I've got to do is change my battery setup down there. You can see some batteries. Uh, join two 12 volt batteries together in series, and that'll give me 24 volts, um, which will be enough to run this pump, you know, in theory. Now, the, the solar, why I'm interested in solar and this pump again, not just because it's DC, but apparently it has a, a slow start. So instead of needing massive current to get it going, it's apparently, and I've yet to turn it on or try it. It'll kick over with not much energy and build itself up, which is perfect for solar. Like, 
I want to be able to get off the grid as much as I can. Um, you know, you don't really save any money with solar. It's pretty expensive. It's more of a toy and a gadget like all the other gadgets. Uh, but in the long run, this uh, pump is 70 watts, uh, running full pace, which I don't think I'll ever run it at full pace. It'll be more running at, you know, 50, 60%. So, you know, it's probably going to be chewing about 50 watts as a constant, which out of the solar panels on the roof here will be no drama at all. So it would be nice to just take that off my power bill, being that I've spent money on solar anyway. So, so quick unboxing. I haven't, can't really tell you many other points because I haven't actually read them all, but, uh, you know, it's got all the standard motor protection uh, if it's blocked or if the water runs out, that kind of thing. I think another major thing that I read about this one, which I really liked, was that it can uh, be a wet or dry pump, so it can be outside the tank. As um, pumps like this, they create a heater. You know, with aquaponics, you really don't want more heat. Most of the time, I'm trying to vent and cool my tanks down, not heat them up. So in winter time, I'd be able to throw the pump in in one of the sumps. It'll probably, you know, give it a little bit of a warmth. Uh, and in summertime, I could plumb it so I can just move it in summer to the outside of the tank and just have you know, a attachment line coming in here, line coming out to the fish tank there from the sump. So sump in here and out to the fish tank here. So both threaded. Now the test will be, you've got a box of plumbing fittings, always got plumbing fittings. 40 mil coupling. So a screw 40 mil coupling, just your standard two bucks fifty PVC. And in theory, uh-oh, uh-oh, in theory, that should go on. Ah, oh, there we go. We have it. So there you go. That's a 40 mil coupling. So the system I'm running now, um, I'm going to be able to turn up the pipe. Go around and show you what I'm talking about. The pipe that uh, runs out of one of the sumps. So this is a sump with an anchored raft system. So that's, I don't know, 60 plants or something can fit in that. Uh, and the pump will be going in here. So at the moment, in this corner, there's a pump, three and a half thousand litre. Same brand as this, showing these knockoff stuff. And what goes back to the fish tank is that one. So the 32 mil runs up out of the greenhouses, and the 32 goes into the top of the tank. Now, it's going to be hard to see it here, but 40 mil does make a difference. That's going to allow a lot more water to go up the head height, because here I tap from low to high into the tank because uh, this is a quite a big tank so it's like two meters high um, so getting the water up there for the little three and a half thousand you know it's pushing its limits it'll, it'll blow up anyway and um, I've always got spare pumps so that'll just be another spare because it's always good to have backup it's, uh, aquaponics doesn't like water not being pumped or you know aerators not working all that kind of stuff so yeah so overall just a quick opening unboxing of uh, the DC range I believe they're quite new on the market, um, they haven't been around long at all and it's taken me a little while to get one in Australia but I found the right one. Um, I could have brought one that was a bit lower in volume and another one that was too high so I was really after the 9000 so absolutely stoked that that 40 mil screw coupling is a perfect fit. Bit worried there for a second, I think the old Chinese thread on either the coupling or the pump wasn't 100% but, uh, but you know she's on so now 40 mil pipe is uh, just exactly what I've been looking for. 32 is your standard for most of these pumps and I just find that useless. So, yeah, quick unboxing with the DC pump. It's a 900, 9000 I should say. 9000 uh, litres an hour. And, um, you know, so there you go. I'll do uh, another update once I've plumbed this baby in. Only take me 10 minutes to change pumps over and get this one up and hopefully on the solar. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, seeing how the pump actually works. Cheers.